Mr. Dayal, the senior education officer, they contributed. Members of the management board, um, teachers, invited guests, and of course the representatives from the Nasino Junior Chamber. I've been reading about these people, and finally I get to meet them. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, yes, um, it's a very special moment. Special moment because this is allowing us to see the generosity of people that we have. To the donors, I say thank you very much. And as read out by Mr. Niaz, when you are parents of children who, are, who have special needs, I think it gives you a greater picture of what other children need. And uh, when, you have, you, when you are blessed with more than what you need, and when you go out of your way to make a difference in some other child's life, I think that's a great blessing indeed. So thank you once again and thank you all for being here. I'd just like to give you a brief update about the work that we carried out after um, TC Yasa. Um, works are still ongoing even after TC Winston. TC Winston struck us some years ago. We are still trying to rebuild with that. And then came Harold, then came Kenny and Gita, and then came Yasa, and then came Anna, and let's pray nothing else comes, at least in this cyclone season. Okay? It has taken a lot out of us in terms of energy, in terms of resources, in, in all aspects, Fijians have suffered. But on the other hand, those that have not suffered, ladies and gentlemen, have come on board wholeheartedly with all, you know, with the, the goodness of their heart, trying to, trying, trying their best to put a smile on somebody who had lost, people lost homes, people lost lives, people lost livelihoods, people lost basically everything they had built over the years. And for the North, especially after TCS, yes, I think when I, when I was visiting communities, I was told that some of them didn't actually know what Cyclone was till Yasa struck them. Because North had always been spared. But unfortunately, when it has to do with nature, man does not have much control. But what we can do is make sure we prepare. When the next natural disaster comes, we are better prepared. You know, with our homes, with our livestock, and whatever we can say. But unfortunately, many a times, natural disasters strike us, and we are not ready. So my advice would be to heed to warnings. And now, when we rebuild, we probably build back to better standards like we did for TC Asa. But when it came to children's education, um, because this happened in the holidays, we were adamant that schools will open on time. And that meant we had to work double or triple to ensure that the damages that were sustained by our schools was fixed and ready for our children to go. We did that quite well. So when schools opened this year, we were fully prepared in the north, except for those schools uh, which still has uh, learning shelters. I'll give you some good news after this. But a lot of organizations, I was reading about a lot of organizations wanting to bag, give bags and shoes and stationery. So what we did is we invited them to the headquarters one day and said, let's share the responsibility. Let's ensure that whatever resources we have, is, is not duplicated, it goes out to the needy students, and that's exactly what we did. So we had a lot of people coming on board, and I think if you walk across any school classroom, you'll see students with new bags, etc. So mostly in the north has been uh, donated by individual people and donors. Um, so I'd like to say thank you very much for that. While we are still reeling from getting back after TC Yasa, Anna struck. Anna further added to the challenges we already had. But again, we said, okay, let's close up for the one week or so and get things ready. Let's kick start. So Anna actually did a lot of damages through flooding, and you in Lombasa know how Lombasa was affected by this, this flooding damage to furniture. That was the most uh, damaging impact of TC Anna. So again, we said, okay, let us not lose hope. So I told the team from the north, as soon as the cleaning is done, let us know how much furniture we need. We, we supplied close to 1,000 new furniture after TC Yasa to Lakutu and all the other schools that were damaged. But then here we had like, Mr. Dell, how many, what was the request? 500 plus or more, eh? Yeah. So we had all these schools that were flooded and most of the furniture went damaged. We had a week, we had a week and a half to get the furniture back into the classroom. And we actually met our targets. We actually met our targets. 
we tapped into our own ministry coffers to buy furniture. Same time, people came on board, the, like the, the, the donation we have today. And we managed to equip most of the classrooms where furniture was German. But work is not, uh, work is not complete yet, ladies and gentlemen. As we walk around, as we travel across north, uh, we feel that facilities in the north have been neglected for some time. And instructions um, ha has been given to the heads of schools and management how best we can get the buildings and everything in order so that our kids, they not, they not only feel safe, but they feel comfortable studying in, in classrooms. Um, yes, uh, in terms of our uh, rehab program for Lekutu Secondary, we, we, when we start the groundbreaking ceremony next week, Friday, to start rebuilding Lekutu's one by seven classroom that was damaged. We're also going to start in the next uh, week or so, um, Yendua Primary, another one by three classroom they'll be, they'll be built. Apart from that, Bua District will also start in, in next week after Lekutu with the rehab, and with that we've included Dharma, pri Dharma Primary as well. So these four schools were mostly damaged, and students there are still in tents, learning spaces. So hopefully in the next six weeks, that's the, that's the target we've given to our contractors, that within the next six, six to ten weeks, all buildings must be completed. Now that is just a rehab phase. New buildings will be done for all these schools as we go along, as and when we receive advice from our engineers and consultants that the structure that is still standing is not strong. We know the cyclone has shaken up the structure, even though they may be standing, but damage has been done. So that work is still ongoing with the construction implementation unit and the Ministry of Education's uh, asset management unit. So yes, um, those schools will be rebuilt for the north. And I think for this year, we've given North a lot of attention, which is good, actually. I mean, had the cyclones not come, we would have taken things for granted. So that, 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 these cyclones and natural disasters has given us a new perception to things, right? So, so I'll leave you with that. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for coming on board. And um, uh, thank you very much for the work that you do by providing assistance in terms of rebuild materials. And I know you were part of our stationary distribution as well. But if you are aware that some communities still need our assistance in trying to send our children uh, back to school, we are there to assist you. So we also assisted close to 100 uh, students at Lakoti Secondary in terms of their footwear, bags, and uniforms. Yendua, 28 students, and we are continuing with our assistance. So if you have those needs in your communities still, please do let us know. But I'm so much um, happy to see this furniture. I think for the first time in my life, I've seen a chair that's that small. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the kids, when they're going to use that, will be equally excited. Yes. So the, to the school head, this, this, gender, this donation comes with a lot of love and affection, a lot of goodwill. Please look after that, so that um, children not only now, but uh, in the coming years also uh, benefit. But for, for your information, ladies and gentlemen, um, we also provide <coughs> special education grant to special schools. They also get the free education grant, and we will continue with that to ensure that the children that come to school are looked after and the needs are fully looked after. So to the teachers who are entrusted to look after these special children, you have a very special responsibility. Your role is different from a normal classroom teacher. I mean, I've served, I've been in the class, I was in the classroom for about 25 years, dealing with normal, uh, normal schools, right? But here you have special education children and I, I know that most of the teachers who teach in the special education schools are not trained in special education. So from this year, we started giving special education um, a national toppers award for those teachers who actually want to be trained as special education teachers. So you are able to deal with the needs. But all in all, please have patience. I've visited a lot of uh, special education schools. I think about 23 tend to be corrected here special schools around the country, every division. Here you have two, one here and one in Savu Savu. Every district has a special school. And the, the children that come to us have differing abilities, right? But each one of them is special. And it's how you are going to teach, right? How you are going to teach or treat those children when they are under your care. So please exercise uh, patience with them. They need extra care, they need extra love, and they look up to you. Uh, to provide them with the, with the guidance as to how they can enjoy life like normal, normal children we have. Okay? So with these words, God bless you all and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is so cool. Some children, some children, yeah, it's a toy.
Yeah, I'm for them, for them. Yeah. This is so small. <laughs> yeah, sure. You can take that. That's so cool. But it must have this liquor. Ah, once again, this is so cool. Produce this, but just because the time was very short, uh, we do that in our professional center. Most of our so your vocational center would be like the Ladoka Special School Vocational Center. Thank you. He and the Northern Education Office. I think it's time to. Uh... Senior Junior Chamber officials who are here to take this opportunity once again to thank you, Madam.